If you are excited to play Resident Evil 8's demo, but you do not have a PlayStation 5, then you should probably travel throughout the cosmos and dimensions into another world where Capcom didn't do this. But unfortunately, you are on Earth, you are a sucker here, so you're going to have to accept the fact that Capcom is releasing a PS5 exclusive demo titled the maiden demo and this isn't a timed exclusive demo in the extent that it'll come to other platforms later on it does seem that other platforms will have a completely separate demo made for them so the maiden demo will be unique to the playstation 5 exclusively and forever until the foreseeable future now this was really surprising to me however as Capcom has usually left the demos off of PC at first to avoid data mining and such and of course that's irrelevant at this point considering the entirety of Resident Evil 8 was leaked but they do usually release it on Xbox to coincide with the PlayStation release and they're even going to not do that this time. So the PS5 timed exclusive will be coming today, which is horrible for anybody that does not have a PS5. If you don't have a PS5, you're going to have to wait until some unannounced day during spring to get a completely new demo separate from everybody else. And I know Capcom and Sony are clearly obviously working pretty closely here if that's how it's going to be, but I'm not exactly sure that this was the way to go for the fans. But I can see why they would do it, as it's more of Sony pushing this onto them probably, and Sony's obviously in this big console war with Microsoft right now. One can only hope Capcom is going to be smart about this. They announced there's going to be no combat, no dodging, and it's going to be like a bare bones RE7 beginning hour demo. But I hope they do look at the beginning hour demo, and that's what is going to be released for all platforms. So again, the maiden demo is going to be for PS5 exclusively, and that is until the foreseeable future. That may never change. But there is going to be a separate demo made for other platforms, and I hope this other separate demo is a little bit more in depth like the beginning hour demo, and then slowly gets updates, as Resident Evil 7's beginning hour demo was one of the best demos I've ever played, and one of the best pieces of marketing I've seen in my life, not just for a video game, but overall. Now one last key information to give about this demo is that you will not be playing as Ethan in the Maiden demo. So just like the beginning hour demo, you will be playing a separate character in their own events. And I'm assuming that just like the events of Resident Evil 7, this demo will probably be canon. And we're either going to see some references to it in the main game or somewhere else in Capcom's marketing advertisement campaign. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this below. Are you happy, sad, surprised? What do you feel about the fact the demo is going to be a timed PS5 exclusive and then other platforms are going to get a completely different demo as well. I mean, I guess that's a good thing other platforms are going to get a new demo because it means that when we finally do get something, at least it will be different from the same content we've seen all over YouTube and other places. I'm going to be making a lot more Resident Evil content very soon, so if you do enjoy these videos, please leave a like, a subscribe, and click that bell notification on my channel so you can keep up to date with all the latest news as soon as possible. You can also follow me on Twitter, donate to my Patreon, or join my Discord. It's up to you guys, the links to these are all in the description. I hope you're just having a beautiful day as always, take it easy, and peace.